and do um, basic video and brake pads calipers I'm starting with this one off so I like to do things a little differently front uh, this is a uh, the 88 to 99 Chevy trucks actually before and after two these actually would cover Dodges. Dodges use the same calipers, oddly enough. Inner pad has a clip, go side the piston, and the piston has to be pressed all the way back. And the way to do that is use the old pad and a big C clamp and just clamp it all the way back and have the mass cylinder cap loose or off so you can get the pressure pushed back on. And the one with the clips goes in here this is your wear indicator when it gets low it gets to rub the rotor there's two pins here they're three they're three eighths hex bits this is a rebuilt caliper new hose um, and now so the insulation is is this opposite of the removal actually I got two kinks in the line can't have that truck done and then you just gotta make sure your my caliper pins are out, sticking out a little bit the little bushings for them little bushings if you can see them and you want to make sure these are greased these caliper pins they have to be because they have to slide they're not grease they have silicone grease I just use automotive grease it's cheaper, and I think technically you're supposed to lock tight the, the pins in inside the car. Um, let me pause this while I put it back on. Okay, I just tapped it with my hand. You can use a hammer, and we keep the bleeder screw cap on so you don't lose fluid. And we're just turning it by hand, if you can see that. Use my camera angle. Let me see. I'm right in the front of this truck. A little hard too. I might be able to. That helps. Yeah, we're just putting, tightening the pin up. It's an insulation removal. Is just the reverse of this. Loosen the pins, tap it side to side, and there you go. And always start these by hand. Do not use a ratchet. You'll, you don't want to misthread them. Because then you're going to have to be changing the spindles, which is not what you want to do. I always spend a minute and wire brush these things out and paint them so they look nice. Takes a minute or two. And good spray paint always helps. Never use cheap stuff. And tighten these very tight. You don't want them coming loose. Now, don't overdo it, of course. That's it. You will strip them. So, that is how to put a brake caliper on a Chevy pickup truck or take it off. So take it off, loosen them, pop it loose with a hammer, pop the pads off, use a C-clamp to compress the worn out one so it pushes the caliper back and put it on. Always use new fluid, never use the old, and put the cap on to keep the dirt and dust out. Hopefully that helps you.